Good morning, Print Fam. Welcome to a new day in the print shop. It's Wednesday. Things are going really good this morning. Um, I did a banner yesterday for um, my former boss and his wife, I swear, knows everyone. And so far today, because of her Facebook post and her saying, hey, look what he did for me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six people that want banners, two of which have already paid, um, one more that I've sent the proof and just waiting payment, and then one that's gonna provide their own design, one that wants to talk to me later because they have a food truck, and another one that they're still trying to decide what they want to do. But so far, three confirmed jobs and six leads from one person's Facebook post. Man, I wish I was that popular, but I'm glad. As soon as I get the payment for the third banner, I'm gonna get those started printing. I still have the banner media loaded from yesterday, so we'll get those three printed, get them cut, get them told that they're ready for pickup, and we'll go from there, so pretty dang sweet. All right, the three banners have been approved so far, so they're all in queue printing. I've got the GoPro mounted inside the printer, so hopefully it'll be a little different view, a little fun. We'll see how it turns out. All right, three banners down. I gotta try to run to a couple stores. My wife needs some elastic band stretchy stuff. Um, she's got a couple of brothers in the medical field and they live out in the boonies and they're running out of face masks. So she wanted to sew some for them and she's got the kids and you're only supposed to have one person out. So I'm gonna run to some stores, see if I can find some elastic bands. Wish me luck. All right, we're back home. Luckily, the first store I went to had some. It was purple and green, but it'll serve our needs. I've got about five more banners to design, and I got an order for about three or 4,000 stickers, so it's gonna be a busy one. All right, Profam, more banners being printed, and I also need to apply that to some magnet media because Bob needed it today. It's about 3.20, got the conic attack in the other room looking at the staple issue as well as the IQ not working properly. So as soon as I know what's going on, I'll let you know. He's been here for about an hour. All right, conic attack just left. He said the issue is this. He said in here there's some springs and different things. So he's going to order a new part and just mail it to me and I'll replace it. Um... He went over adjusting the trays and then he did a little bit of leveling and adjusting from the earthquake. So nothing too terrible. Um, yeah, so I'm under contract, so it didn't cost me anything. The replacement part's free. He did suggest that I buy some more staples just to have on hand. Konica sells those directly, but I'm probably gonna find some place or try to find some place that sells them cheaper just because I don't want to have to pay more than I have to. So, um, more banners printing, two more banners. So I just finished one, there's two more going. I have three here on the table that I need to cut, but I got to reorganize everything because I had to get everything out of his way. So it's actually really clean right here right now because the door into the house is blocked and all my crap is everywhere. So I got to do some reverse messing, and then cut some banners. Print fam, if you do banners, you need something like the Keen Cut because I'm on banner number six. I've got more to design and probably print, and being able to cut with this thing has just been a lifesaver. So I'll leave a link to what I can down in the description, but man, it's been nuts today. Just banners, banners, banners. So. 
from what I thought would be a slow day to having a bunch of work to do, it's always nice, especially in this shutdown. So I got all the banners done, but I messed up the spelling on one. It wasn't my fault. She sent me the wrong spelling, but when I was cutting it, I noticed it. So I'm gonna print an adhesive vinyl to just cover up the lettering, lettering since it's not really a permanent banner and is an acceptable, cheaper solution for both of us. Um, right now I'm working on applying some magnets. Um, so this is the adhesive that I printed the other day. This is the magnet sheet. So you can see this line right here. I still have the backer on the rest of it going this way, but I've applied the vinyl right here. So now what I'm gonna do is slowly peel off the backer as I apply the vinyl. So then I'm gonna cut it on the keen cut. So let's do this. All right, print fam, magnets are done. Business cards that we printed earlier, which I don't think I showed you. I did them while I was cutting banners. Those are done. Um, I've got the one banner that I'm printing the adhesive for first thing tomorrow. That lady has two banners. The other two banner, well, two have already been picked up. Two are being picked up tonight. Those other two are going tomorrow. So that's the six banners. Just got approval for one more banner. So it's crazy. It was a good day. I still didn't meet my invoice goal, but I was happy because I was productive, even though I didn't make much either. Konica is in good condition. Um, hopefully I'll get that part here in a few days to get the stapler fixed. That'll be it. So if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., Leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cameron, for editing the videos. I really appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. But as always, we just appreciate you being here. Give the video a thumbs up if you feel it deserved it. And subscribe so you can follow along with the journey. We'll see you tomorrow, Prim Fam.